Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, a pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, we'll take our text out of Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. This is the Pentecost. Pentecost is a Greek word that means 50. Pentecost was a festival of the first fruits or the Feast of Weeks that took place 50 days after uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so Jesus had instructed his disciples to go on uh, into Jerusalem and wait for him there when the Holy Spirit would come. And so they did that. They spent a period of time there uh, fellowshipping with one one another. And if you read chapter one, you'll discover that they spent a lot of time in fellowship with one another and with others. Fellowship is to, uh, basically it means a friendly association with people of like interest. One of the things that's important to notice in this is that uh, people come from all walks of life. This was a festival, the Pentecost, the first uh, Feast of Weeks, or First Fruits. It was a festival that required everybody to travel back into their hometown. And so they would come into Jerusalem at this point, and they would celebrate this particular festival. It would be a lot of different people there with a lot of different backgrounds, and they would also uh, speak different languages. And uh, that was evident in the Holy Spirit coming as they spoke and everyone heard in their own language. But they would, they would fellowship. They would spend time together getting to know one another. And when you think about a fellowship of a friendly association of people who have a, a like interest or common interest, how can people of different backgrounds have a common interest? It is because the interest that has brought them together is the Lord God Almighty or the Lord Jesus Christ. In this passage, it said when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they um, they were all with one accord in one place. And that is a very important thing. Fellowship is important. You need to spend time with fellow believers. You need to spend time with people uh, that are close to you, people that you love, friends, whomever it is. You need to spend time with them, getting to know them and getting a better understanding of them. Sometimes getting to know people and uh, learn a little bit about their lives helps you to understand the things that motivate them and also helps you understand the decisions decisions that they make in life and the reason they do the things that they do. And so it says that these people were gathered in one accord. It didn't matter where they came from. It didn't matter what their background was. They all had a common interest. And that one interest is what brought them together. And that was to serve God. They came for the festival and there they met Jesus Christ. Many of them as a disciple to introduce them. They spent time getting to know each other and they spent time getting to know Jesus. The common interest was God, God Almighty, Jesus Christ that had brought them together. Many times as we live our life, we fail to see that it is the common denominator. Jesus is the common denominator that links us together regardless of where we came from or what our past is about. When we come to church, on Sunday. People come from all walks of life. They come from all kinds of backgrounds and they come to fellowship. They come to talk. They come to break the bread of life. They come to participate and uh, worship with other believers with, that has a common interest and that common interest is Jesus Christ. So today I would say to you, don't deprive yourself of fellowship with other believers. It is very important. Sometimes it's good just to sit down and talk with people and get to know them, whether it's in just two or whether it's a group of people. Spend time with people and get to know them. And remember, the reason that you're able to do that is because there's a common interest that has brought you together for that moment in time, of in that, that moment of fellowship. And that interest is Jesus Christ. It has linked you together. So take advantage of the fellowship that you have with each other and also take advantage of the fellowship that you have with the church. You have a common interest with the church. Go worship, go celebrate, and go participate. Remember this today, my friends. The Lord Jesus loves you and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, I ask you to just light a fire, ignite a fire in our lives that we may fellowship with one another and with you because of the common interest in Jesus Christ. And I pray it in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.